What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Pub Guns 101, a series where I go over each and every single gun in the game, giving you all the information you need to know about it, including range, damage, and fire rate. I also give you my personal thoughts and opinions on the weapon, and provide you with one of the best class setups that I have found, which is displayed at the beginning of each video. Alright, so let's get to it, and this episode will be covering the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh is an awkward little sub that has a 4 round burst automatic cycling system. The description reads 4 round auto burst submachine gun, reliable damage and accuracy, cycles burst automatically by holding the trigger. The Pharaoh is my least favorite SMG within Black Ops 3. Though the Pharaoh is one of the highest dealing damage guns within its class, it seems highly unreliable and highly inconsistent. The Pharaoh is a 3 to 6 shot kill SMG, meaning that it will take 3 shots to kill up close, 4 to 5 shots to kill mid range, and 6 shots at a distance. Generally though, you'll find yourself in the 4 to 5 shot kill rather than 3 or 6. I find this highly inconsistent considering that it is a burst SMG with delay between bursts. So sometimes you can drop a guy in one burst and then sometimes it takes, well, 2 to 3 bursts depending on how many bullets are landed on target and how much time between landing shots. I find this very annoying and not dependable during gunfights. Because the Pharaoh is not a fully automatic submachine gun, it has a little bit of an odd fire rate. It shoots 909 rounds per burst, which is excellent, but has an and overall fire rate speed of 609 rounds, but I wouldn't say they're the greatest in the game, which is so if very you don't like that, and say that you feel like you can't land shots on target, relatively low, then throw an elo sight on this gun, because it works just fine with that also. Okay, so let's talk recommended attachments. The first attachment that I find always seems to help this gun is the stock. Weird, I know, because this is the only SMG that I have ever said put the stock on. Because I say put the stock on this gun, there is a reason why. And that reason is because it's a burst gun. And because it's a burst gun, it has a delay between bursts, and the stock will help you straight from side to side easier and help you avoid some of the bullets from other fully automatic submachine guns or assault rifles. Next, after the stock, I would say the quick draw grip. SMGs are supposed to be good up close, and because this has a 3 shot kill range for an SMG, you want to be able to snap down sights quickly and take full advantage of that. Finally, I would slap on that primary gunfighter and take advantage of the long barrel. Because this is a burst gun, you will find yourself constantly trying to challenge other high powered, more accurate guns out far, and believe me, when it comes down to it, you really don't want that 6 shot to come into play when fighting a gun like the M8 or the Man of War. The final attachment, which is probably the one you get away with without putting on if you decide to, is the grip. It's the least essential out of the other three attachments. The slow bursting speed of the gun doesn't create too much recoil, but if you find it becoming an issue how far, then the grip will without a doubt fix that. If you decide that you don't need the grip on this gun, more props for you. But if you decide that you don't need the grip and you want another good attachment for it, I would say the laser sight. I say this because, again, it is one of the only two SMGs that can kill in three shots up close, so if you come around the corner and happen to run into a guy with a Vesper, then with the laser sight you might get lucky to pull the trigger and burst him down before you can even get a shot off. Like most SMGs, the one attachment I would say stay away from is the silencer. It creates a massive drop off to range and you will find yourself wasting countless amounts of bullets on enemies out far and ultimately not even getting the kill. The silencer turns this gun into a rubber bullet shooting machine. It's not good with the silencer, don't attach it. The Pharaoh, in my opinion, like I said in the beginning of the video, is one of the worst submachine guns in the game. It took me a long time to try to figure out what works well with this gun, considering I'm not very good with it and I don't really like using it that much. But I eventually did come to the conclusion that the attachments I previously shared were the best ones for the Pharaoh. And if you like burst type weapons with inconsistent kill times, then this might be the gun for you. Let me know what you think of my class setup on the comments below. Tell me what you like running on your Pharaoh class. But that's all the time I have for this episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this episode's lesson of Pub Guns 101, the Pharaoh. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the series where I go over each and every single gun in the game or these videos on screen if you haven't seen them yet. This has been your host, Tech Energy. I'll catch you later.